Okay, uh, very good evening to all of you. Um, welcome to the uh, you know the, the live project sessions which we have planned to host uh, for all the members who have taken the APM training from us. So so basically, this course is all about you know uh, getting mature about writing your uh, test automation scripts in a more mature way. So. So the things which we saw in the live uh, projects, uh, sorry, in the live training were about understanding the most of the APM capabilities, right? So how we can do the things on Android and what all things we had to set up for the same reason we were actually going through all of them. And then later we went through the uh, iOS part where, you know, uh, how, there are a couple of more challenges working on iOS to set up uh, to work with APM as well. So all these uh, things were there that which we covered. However, these uh, this course was supposed to give you only introduction about APM and what all challenges for setup were there and what all different uh, actions you were able to do and how you could actually do the UI actions using APM web driver is something we saw during this course content. So for those people who couldn't go through the videos, uh, after today's session, we have a, uh, a bit of time. So I quickly recommend everyone to take up that, uh, take up those videos and watch all of them so that, you know, uh, going further uh, which application under test we are going to work with throughout our live project um, you know you should not be facing some hurdles just because you couldn't take up this course right so I recommend uh, if, okay another thing is if you have a basic knowledge about how to uh, set up the things for APM and write the basic text scripts for Android and uh, and for iOS, then it is well and good. So this live project would be for you guys. Then, uh, but if you don't have any knowledge about APM or something, then definitely I recommend first you go through these, uh, you know, through the recordings for the live training, which we recently uh, finished. So you can get in touch with our IT eLearn team about learning the same, right? And once we start with live project, so this would be the basic uh, things which we will be targeting to work with. Okay, so so now the first point which you see is introduction to application under test. So as this pro this particular agenda is all about working on live project. So here we mean that we will give you a sample application so if you see here in my simulator i have installed this this is an interact app okay so if i log out from this okay so interact app so this is a uh, uh, you know the trainee trainer communication app which we have developed internally through the you know the IT learn team. So basically, uh, it is an initiative uh, taken by our team to come up with this app. However, this app we are using, we are going to use for our uh, testing purpose. So during the live project, what we will be doing is we will be writing a couple of test cases based on this application. Okay, and those test cases which we have came up as a manual test cases, we will be going to automate them using the Python unit test framework. Okay, so introduction to application under test is initially I will introduce you what all things uh, basically this Interact app has internally. Okay, and then we will see uh, how we can uh, formalize you know or arrange some of the test cases regarding to it in fact when it is a live project i i expect each one of you to interact to you know participate in the uh, project and come up with the test cases and you know uh, try to automate a couple of areas so 
so the areas will be distributed to each one of the members so i will create a team for each one of you okay so some of the members will be taking a particular module and then they will be automating those things and some of the members will be automating couple of things and they will be doing those things so what i would so what my role would be to participate and you know just give you an introduction uh, to each each of the areas you know and i will actually analyze the work that you will come up with so it though it's a live project but it is you who people will be uh, creating or writing the test scripts and coming up with uh, you know the other day the next session you will come with the results of the same and yes when it is python unit test framework it so this is the framework which i will introduce you with and uh, so though it's a python based framework it, you don't need to have much knowledge about python so basic scripts will be there and then we will try to see how we can write data driven tests and couple of html reports to generate from them so okay so uh, okay i see couple of more questions so uh, first of all team uh, my name is pavan onkar okay i am the trainer so people are addressing with the name of kartik yes kartik is uh, uh, i see so uh, so i am the trainer who will be driving this course and uh, also if you see uh, like i i was the one who actually drove the mat live training project for the apm okay and i have around uh, i around 10 plus years of experience into Q qa automation um, where you know in apm i have around 5 years of experience right from the time when the apm was evolved like i was involved in those projects where um, i have written most of the frameworks using this apm technology yes sunita you can ask so i am open to the questions before i move further if anyone still have any doubts about uh, you know about the agenda for this live project uh, please feel free to you know drop in the query here in the question section because i am right now going through the questions so so there is a question that uh, yes so those so initially so archana uh, to answer you yes these are the paid videos because uh, first of all you know we expect everyone to have the knowledge of apm okay and uh, when we and basically on the android platform we are going to drive this project okay and i expect that you should have a setup ready uh, according to what i have taught in the live training okay because uh, in live project i am not going to explain how to set up things for the uh, you know the android platform during the course so uh, so what is apm so suresh uh, i believe you are a completely new person to the apm so i recommend you uh, even though we will start with initial sessions of live project you won't miss meanwhile you take up that uh, videos and just learn you know go through all the videos very quickly you know even if you go through the videos it would be sufficient for you to 
you know take up the uh, live project so so you need to have an introduction to apm apm is basically a framework that actually automates the user interface of mobile apps whether on android or ios hope suresh i answered you so yes uh, siri uh, i will take up this query that you, you are not able to play the recorded videos uh, so so i will uh, make sure the it learn team will get back to you to confirm why the videos are not able to play for you so raj i answered that for apm seminar uh, or the live project to attend the prerequisite is you need to take this training what's the prerequisite for this training no uh, even a person having or a, a simple programming language any programming language knowledge would also do or even that won't be a criteria but a learning apm doesn't demand you to have any knowledge about any other frameworks okay so the videos we start to go to before okay so just a second so so it will be uh, a simulator which i will be working with arti and uh, if you have to in if you have a android real device then anyways you know how to set up things for android real device so you just have to go to the play store and uh, inst look out for the intraft app and install it anyways i have the apk for it so you can always install apk directly in these simulators right so so if you see this is a simulator right in the background that is running so i have the intraft app apk which you can install directly or you can uh, use a real device app. but in real device you might have to go to the play store and install that intraft app after this training can i get a knowledge about deciding the right framework for the project so basically this after this uh, training you know the live project you will get a clear idea irrespective of whichever programming language you are working with so python is a very easy programming language to catch for all of the newbies here java would be a very you know rigid programming language to take up for this course that's why i chose python because immediately we can start writing scripts however the concepts remain the same if you see here vivek uh, the concepts remain the same see writing the manual test cases to automate is something each one of us definitely have to do right whether you choose java or python or ruby any program how to write those cases based on the mobile apps is something we will see and what exactly i am going to show in python unit test framework is just a quick introduction to unit test framework this is something similar to the j unit or test ng framework right so simple simple and uh, class uh, class method we will write and simple test methods we are going to write here in the in this framework so what are the different tests and accordingly what all assertions we have to use so assertion is a very important thing to learn in this unit test framework and basically also if you see this is another point that is data driven test writing just the test cases and automating them using unit test framework is not the sufficient requirement for you to learn you also need to understand how you can write these tests in a data driven way right most of us uh, might have used the data driven frameworks but in case of apm as this is a live project it's my uh, it's my duty to make you understand the data driven tests as well so so simple json format files or dictionary format files we will be using to create our test bed and drive the 
test cases accordingly right and at the end we will see how to create simple html reports out of what all projects or test cases we have been automating so let me take up another questions So, so Sunita, uh, I see that you, you are asking when you are starting the live projects on this. So today is the introductory session for first of all, all of you. Uh, and to understand what exactly we are going to drive throughout the course, right? So Ron, I answered, right? Why I haven't taken Java uh, programming for this course. So Sunita, this is the APM's first session on live projects. So today we will be driving the live project where each one of us will be participating to, you know, uh, create the test cases and then automate using APM. Here we expect everyone should have a basic knowledge about scripting using APM in Python. So in, if you go through the live training videos, you will get the idea about them. Okay, how long is the uh, live project? So, okay, so basically uh, we are going to meet every uh, every Tuesday and Thursday your time. So, so I will come up with the timings. So twice in a week we are going to meet. Okay, every you know uh, then I will be analyzing the work of whatever assignments I will be giving you all. Okay. And, you know, uh, whatever work I will be giving you, uh, accordingly, I will help you to un make you understand what went wrong in your understanding. And accordingly, we will take things further. So basic agenda, which you see on the screen is something we will try to achieve. And at, by the end of the course, we will be actually getting comfortable on writing basics uh, you know uh, you know the basics about writing the automation framework using the appm framework any more questions team so basically this will take uh, four weeks only two two sessions per week right so total eight to nine sessions we might see okay so mazer uh, sorry uh, if i pronounced your name uh, incorrectly but uh, mazer to answer you you can get in touch with uh, our it learn team uh, for further logistics as to what how much the course you know will cost you So regular classes will start in a couple of days. So today was the free session and uh, so like you can expect it in uh, in two days. It, it should start. Sunita. So the best part about the live project which I recommend is uh, everyone that when you learn any technology, right, you need to apply that knowledge in a more practical way so so what we used to do in it learn is we used to just train people in apm or selenium frameworks or something right but the later we started getting queries from most of the members that uh, i am facing these issues in my project i'm facing that i don't know how to write the data driven tests or in fact how to write the unit you know whatever uh, challenges so what we thought is first, when we are actually learning APM, first let us understand the, the technology about APM, which I covered in the live training. And then we actually kept as a separate uh, project related uh, agenda in a live project kind of training. So we kept these two things separately. So in, from this, you will get a value as to, you know, 
how you should be actually writing your test cases uh, for the mobile apps and how actually you should be able to automate them uh, and you know using the simple frameworks whether it is java or whether it is any other programming language it doesn't matter just for the sake of uh, newbies people here in this class uh, to catch up things fast i have i have actually uh, you know decided to take up the python framework it doesn't demand you to have a knowledge of uh, python but simple any programming knowledge if you have would also do for this class but i won't be taking up the python course just for your information okay looks like the looks like i don't see any more questions coming up if there are any more questions please let me know else i will start with introduc introducing the application under test are we good to go further say yes or no okay looks like most of you are uh, clear with the agenda now so first of all what we will see is we, we will walk through a simple uh, application which we have developed internally the same application uh, will be shared with all of you okay so this is the interact app okay how did i install it if you are if you are going to work with the real devices then uh, you will find this interact app on the play store okay if you have a ios device then i don't recommend you to run the uh, app on ios as of now because this course will be driven only uh, for the android related test cases okay on the android platform mostly because uh, the reason being said is you know most of you might have the windows machines and also uh, you know the android platform is a quite easy platform to catch for each one of you okay saying so how did i host this simulator first go to the training uh, you know you should first take up the training course where you will see the steps i mentioned how to set up the simulator so if you see this is a jenny motion for personal use what you see so uh, you know from the jenny motion software i actually hosted this simulator android device and i actually installed the apk from here so this is the apk file okay uh, so we uh, so once we move further i will share this apk file with you so that you know you can actually install it on your simulator or real device and then move further so so basically what we are going to do with this interact app is first we will try to write a couple of login related test cases right so successful login unsuccessful login so these are all the test cases right once we are there so let me log in here so once i log in you will see couple of notifications so these are trainee trainer program kind of notifications where if we have to send any notifications related to the course during the course uh, agenda then those things come up as a uh, you know notifications for the trainee so this is a app that we have developed internally and also it is available in play store now so let us wait for this to get loaded 
so so we have only limited options okay for this course uh, this uh, we have to target uh, writing and automating the test cases with respect to the login logout test cases and see what all notifications we see and uh, accordingly uh, you know uh, we will be driving uh, different test suites is what i want to tell so test suites is set of test cases so we will be writing different test suites one is for login related test suite and one is for logout related test suite right and then couple of more ui options that you see on the app we will be actually writing test cases uh, around it so let me see why is it not logging in Meanwhile, if you all have any other queries, I'm open for answering the same. Okay. So if you see, these are the notifications which mostly a trainee gets. Okay. So if you are a part of live project, so going further, you might see the notifications coming to you from our team in this way. So ideally, this being an application under test for us, we should be just seeing if I can click a refresh button and if I can actually see the new notifications. You know, if I can see the more elaborative messages like this, once I click it, then I will see if only one notification is expanded properly, right? So similarly, uh, we will see a couple of more options like uh, checking the different UI options like about in draft. So this, this is a about page, right? About this particular app, then going back. Yeah, so so all these things are there. And also, once we are comfortable, we will try to see and create the HTML reports out of it, uh, out of the Python framework. So if you are using any other framework, then definitely each one of these frameworks might be having the test ng or, sorry, or their respective reporting uh, way of, you know, uh, technology, what they have written it. In case of unit test framework, you have a HTML runner, which actually creates the HTML reports for us. So we will see that as and how we uh, progress in this uh, session, right? So I will be helping you how to, uh, you know, write how to actually create the folder structure to, uh, you know, the, write the test automation scripts. So this is about the introductory part to the interact. So we will be seeing most of the test cases revolving around this app. Okay. And uh, if you have any more queries on this app, you can ask me. Basically, this is a trainee login that I have logged in with. Okay. And you will see only limited options in this. You are supposed to only see the notifications. And that's the only agenda for this, that with this particular limited options, we will be writing our test aut automation scripts. So do you have any desktop application for Intraft? Yes, Mazer, we have uh, a desktop. It's not a desktop based, but a web based application. So, uh, our team will definitely help you on this. So if you go here and uh, type in interact.com slash app. So, so yes, you will be directed, directed to this. So you have to register here. Hope everyone is able to see my screen. 
but mostly all of the email addresses with which you are registered with the IT eLearn, most of your email addresses will be actually uh, added as a uh, you know account in the interact however if you still find challenges to connect to the you know login into the interact app then try to register yourself okay uh, and before we start going you know start with the sessions paid sessions which i mean to say i expect each one of you to have at least getting a logged in account right you should be able to uh, lo log in into the account of interact uh, and you should get a uh, help from our IT learn support team. Definitely, that is a prerequisite that you should first get a uh, account created for yourself, either from registering or maybe uh, from you know just getting in touch with the IT learn team and getting things done from them. Uh, for web-based applications, so if like the web-based application altogether a different web-based app, app, right? It is not a mobile app. So, uh, so, so the test scenarios will remain the same, but the way to interact with these UI apps for web-based applications through uh, automation, they have a different approach, right? Automating apps on web-based application and automating test apps on the uh, mobile apps will be different. No, no wrong. We cannot uh, register using the mobile app. So we don't have that feature as of now. Okay. So you have to register through our uh, website. Okay. So website app. So click here. So it will ask you for a couple of information. So provide that. And if you still face any issues, then do drop a mail to elearn, uh, you know, elearn at, at itelearn.com. Sorry, not it is elearn, it is learn at it.com. Learn at itelearn.com. So do, do drop your queries to this, and you can also put me in the loop yunka at gmail.com okay you can put me in this you can put both of the email addresses for your queries so that i can follow up also with the team for any of the queries you that need to be answered as early as possible hope this is clear to all of you So could you recommend any other free app other than Interact for practice? So yeah, uh, like in fact, if you see here, I can also recommend the inbuilt without installing anything. If you come up with simulator or anything, you always have these email apps, right? So you can take up this as well. So, uh, so like you can take up a test case like, uh, sending a mail to someone then checking these sent mails or outbox so sent mails are there right so this is so these are the couple of more options that you can play around with in the different apps hope I answered you So intra why did I choose Intraft is it has a limited options and within those options we can actually write a simple test cases and actually try to cover most of the areas that we have planned to cover. Because if we have vast uh, application then we will keep on writing many scenarios of those test cases and our course, our course duration will pile up like anything. right? So that is the reason I've kept the limited option in the course, you know, for this interest app so that we can cover most of the areas as to what our understanding should 
get mature with you know about the framework how to write the test cases and automate them so that is the ultimate goal so again i am repeating we are meeting uh, the, how will the schedule be so two times in a week and four week duration right so so two times in a week that means we will have at least eight sessions yes mostly and it will be 6 30 pm like what time we have started today mostly it will be at the same time but definitely if there is any change in time our team will uh, definitely intimate you one day or two days before but mostly uh, the timings don't change unless there is any uh, special uh, request from any other trainers who take who want to take up the course at the same time is this clear everyone any any other queries i see uh, only few members are asking is this totally new to most of you members is what i want to understand from others so so i see a couple of members who are totally new in this class and i request you all of you to start taking the course uh, uh, you know the live project uh, training videos you know live training videos of APM so you will get comfortable when we start with the agenda of our live project so what is the start date so mostly in couple of days like Friday uh, so today is uh, today is Wednesday for you so maybe Friday uh, is something not even Friday, but maybe next week we will start on this. Next week, Monday evening for you. Yes, this was one free session only. So are these videos posted somewhere? Yes, Brad, we are posting these videos regularly on our ITLearn website and you will be given access to those videos every day. And also different files which we are going to create, we are actually going to share them uh, on the drive with you all. So today is a Tuesday evening for you, uh, Sunita. So, okay. So let me get back to you as to when can we take up the latest class. I understand each one of you are excited to start with the, you know, uh, the the live project and, but but why we have given the why we have actually taken the gap between the free session and the paid session is to first make you understand what is the prerequisite of this course. And if you have not taken up the APM uh, live training course, then I request you to quickly go through the videos and get comfortable on the Android part at least, so that you know uh, we can actually uh, be comfortable to drive further. So that is the reason I have kept the gap between the free session and the paid session else if I keep it immediately then you won't be getting a chance to go through the videos which I'm actually requesting you so I see uh, one of our mem IT learn member has also joined so is it Manoj or Karthik, someone? Uh, hi, Pond, it's Karthik. Yeah, yeah, hi, Karthik. Uh, so 
uh, so so like i was introducing about them about the agenda and the now what all things we are going to cover so do you have any inputs on this hello not really on the scope part of it but then um yeah like pavan said it is a prerequisite to get a good idea on the knowledge that is required to be part of the project and the second thing that is also important is the fact that we you all will be divided into team depending on how many people join the program and each team will have to work independently on the same activities and then when you meet this twice a week you would be the ones who will present everything to us and uh, pavan will then uh, look at how you're progressing on the project and give you advice and guidance on next steps it's primarily more like a review meeting of your project work that's the primary focus theme of what we will be doing <clears throat> Okay, we have more queries here. Any quick questions? Yeah, I have quick questions here. Uh, so there is a question. What are your expectations about how many people will do? So, so, okay, so team, any questions from previous which we have not answered in this session, uh, please kindly put them again for me to address. And then I'm going to take a few questions right now. So, how many? How, what are expectations about how many people will join? How many teams will be divided? Uh, we won't know the number yet, Mazhar. But typically, each team will be anywhere between five to ten members, and each of you will be working with uh, your group, your team, through Skype, emails, WhatsApp, interact, and kind of divide the activities with each of you. So you are coordinate a lot. And typically, there are challenges that you see that will come for live projects. Just like real life project, how the communication happens, how the coordination happens, how you put together and achieve the goal to, as a team collectively, and so on. That will be kind of a great platform for each of you to get an expert experience of how actual projects work in real time. Apart from that, even the inputs that we keep giving to you are adequate. So when we meet twice a week, that's our primary focus on seeing how you progress. He worked as a team and try and give you the report. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Karthik. Yeah, any other questions, team? When you have any questions for me? Uh, well, uh, no, I'll, most of the things uh, we have uh, discussed about how to drive this course, so that is how um, I have presented. And uh, you know that is how I've articulated this in the slides that you see. All right. So there's one question from Brad, which says, uh, are, "Are these videos posted somewhere?" Um, and I think you already answered that. Yes, Brad. The videos will be posted as we go along. But also the project activity. Every team will put a project repository. It's typically in a Google Drive. They'll be putting that. Uh, within the uh, Google Drive, the package, and you'll also be able to see how the progress is, be it script and so on. Right. Question from Devia: Will it be free training? Uh, there are two questions in it. Is it a training? No, it is not a training. It is a live project. You have to be already a part of the premium membership of the mobile app testing, and then you are eligible for the live project. Second, will this live project be free? No, it is. Uh, it's got a small charge. I don't know the exact fees, but I'll have uh, the sales team uh, kind of put it in an FAQ on what the costing would be. So, can another question? Can I take part? Uh, yes, but after you've complete the training. So either you're doing the live training, which is recently finished, or you subscribe to the videos and learn through the videos, then you can be part of this live project. And definitely, even if you take up the course and thereafter you are still not comfortable to, you know, join the 
currently going live project but anyways you have the recorded videos of live project as well so you can have access to those uh, recorded videos of live project and then offline also you can actually learn the things on your own There's one more, a couple of more points. Uh, I did hear one question earlier. Are there any other applications except from, apart from Interrap that you can test on? Yes. Um, at Atomic 77, we have developed quite a few applications, mobile applications, and hopefully we'll be getting them uh, for usage. The, but Interrap was a little bit more functional app with a lot more uh, QA scope, and that's the reason we kept it. But there are two more applications coming up. There is one application, there are two, three applications that are kind of getting ready thing. There's a one which is like a restaurant food orders app. And that is something that should be hopefully ready shortly. The second is uh, we're developing an app for IT learn itself. And that app also is getting ready. Now, when we talk about this mobile app, there are native apps, there are hybrid apps, and there's total web services based app. So there'll be a combination of a uh, lot of them that you will get access to. You all have to understand one thing, team. This is to get you an expertise on how real life projects work. It is also to give you uh, a project experience that you can put on your resume when you try and market your resume, especially with consulting companies or on job boards. You have referenceable projects. You can also give our names for reference when you com successfully complete the project. And from starting with one project, which we are doing right now, it can continue to go on to other projects. It does not have to just mean it's one project. You could continue to be a part of our activities. And as we get new mobile applications developed, you can all, you're more than welcome to be part of the testing team there. The primary advantage for each of you is the fact that how it's going to help you building your project experience on your resume and also giving that hands-on exposure. So that those two are very critical things. Pavan, if you can do me a favor and just go quickly to qaonair.com once, please, on your browser. Uh, can you please repeat? QA? On air com. So team, uh, not many of you have uh, completely heard about this. It is not yet pub publicly announced, but we've launched this. As part of my incorporation called Varka Science, we have three main um, verticals. First is itlearn.com, which is a complete training and project platform. That is a training platform. Anyot.com is a functional test automation tool built specifically for manual testers. And QAonair.com is the uh, website through which you will be doing a lot of freelance projects. Now, this is a ready application which we have launched like a week back. We are very subtly launched in small groups, which is very internal. The way it works is very simple thing. I'll give you a quick idea. This is basically connecting. Uh, just crawl up, please. Yeah, sorry. This is primarily connecting the world of software test engineers with the end client directly for any kind of a QA work. Crawl a little down for me, please. Yeah. And what happens is, is there are two act activities that happen. There's one for the client and one for the freelancers. So if I a little bit more down, please. So the client's image that you'll see out here on the left side basically talks about what the client gets as an advantage. They get an opportunity to try a consultant before hiring. They're able to quickly ramp up or ramp down the team. They also will be able to see the rated consultants as to their expertise and feedbacks from other projects that they've done. And they get to save a significant amount of dollars because there are no layers in it. For a freelancer like yourself, if you're someone who's looking at the first project to build your portfolio, because when you go into the market, it is always about, tell me about your project experience. 
just not uh, what you've learned, but have you implemented it somewhere. So freshers get a chance to implement this project experience for free. They don't really need to, uh, you know, wait long to get project experience. For someone who's already working in the QA industry in specific roles and is looking for a second income apart from what they're doing, this is a great opportunity. And that can become eventually to become something that you work from home directly with the end client, kill the layers and earn more income. So with this website, if you go on the freelancers, please. Okay. Um, on the menu bar. So you can find projects that have been placed here. You can create your own profile as well and become a freelancer. So as the projects keep increasing, as we take it public, you'll get a good understanding of how things can work on this. For employers, so if you're a freelancer, you can create a profile and sign up here. The reason I'm showing this is while we start with the APM Live project with Interact, the other projects, as the new ones keep coming, we'll put it out here. You can sign up and start working from here. Under employers, in the menu bar, please. Sorry, uh, so I was just watching a couple of more questions. Yeah, employers. Okay. You can find freelancers, and you'll notice how the people are putting in uh, different sets of information. So there are 150 almost profiles who have added, and these are all real people, uh, real experience, real expectations, and so on. So um, this, this is something that we're building as an overall portfolio of uh, skills and people, and we'll be working very actively on this coming going forward. The reason I'm showing you QA on air right now, team, is because um, it is a great platform to get project experience and hopefully get a paid project also soon. And this system works overall. Right. Uh, can you go on mute, please? Oh, not talk. Or a background noise. All right, thank you. So I'm just taking a few quick questions on this. Uh, there's a question from Mother saying, I think this is more about the live project. If you learn from videos, is there any chance of interaction with you people if you have any doubts? So we have two, three levels of technical support through the forum at IT Learn then technical support through emails and finally if things are still not resolved then we go in the route of getting onto a call or go to meeting share the screen and try and resolve the issue for this project which training is required what are the prerequisites for this project i think this has already been uh, mentioned at the very beginning Poonam. Uh, what are the prerequisites which can also be sent to you later to take a look at how to pay tax if you work on qa so what happens is very simple, Mazar. When the client pays the amount to you and it hits you your bank, the client does not have to pay any tax, but you, when you disclose your income to the respective, uh, you know, government, uh, IRS, or you know, the taxation department of your country, you will have to disclose that and pay your income tax. Do we get project expense letter for the same? Not, there's nothing called project experience letter on way. It is, you place the project on your resume, and then when you apply for projects or jobs, and they ask for reference, at that time, you come and show us that, hey, we have, um, I've applied for this. If someone calls, can you please verify it? That's what we'll do. Invoice will be able for the work done, yes. Invoices will be able. It's a complete system team, end to end, right from payment collection, e-commerce, everything is there. Can you upload a resume directly? Wrong? Yes, you can. And I think, but you also still need to fill in some details that is visible for the employers to screen and search for you uh, quickly. Even as a freelancer, will I get paid? Of course, you will get paid as a freelancer. Freelancer does not mean free team. They're just saying they're free to work. They're free to work for themselves. That's what freelance means. It does not mean free work. But again, there will be some projects where you will not get paid because you're building up your project experience. But as you keep going, you'll start getting paid on that. All right. I think we're out of time for this session. So, Pavan, anything final before we move on? 
No, uh, mostly I try to, you know, walk through them through the agenda as to what all things we are going to cover. And we have tried to answer most of the queries with respect to this live project, which we are going to try. So we are good to close this session today. And uh, we, uh, our IT learn team will get back to you as to the when we are going to start with the live project paid sessions. So, you know, if at all you don't get any notifications from our team, then do reach uh, us on the, uh, you know, on this, you know, support IDs which we have shared with you. So definitely we will try to uh, share you the upcoming agenda and the schedule about the next sessions. Okay. So thanks team. So, yeah, I'll take There's a question from Siri. Please resolve the videos issue. Siri, I don't know what the videos issue you're referring to. Because just for information team, there are over 4,000 active members who are using our videos on various courses. If there's an issue, the thousands of them will have the same issue. And that will be like, you know, major escalation. If there's a, not a specific issue, then it could be something to do with you, and we need to resolve that. Uh, Siri is saying that I'm not able to play any paid videos since morning. Siri, please send a detailed email with a very clear uh, details of what is happening to learn at itland.com. And if you need, mark me also, and they will resolve within 24 hours. If it's stopping you urgent, then please call the team on the India or US number or get onto a live chat. All right. I have 10 years of experience manual testing. Can I upload my resume? Absolutely, CL, you can. You should, in fact. All right, team, thank you, everyone, uh, for coming on. Uh, thank you, Pawan. Thank you. Let's catch you in the next. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye.